Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video on Elementary OS, and with the recent release of Elementary OS 8, I thought I'd do a review video on it, go over what's new, and I'll end off with my overall impressions of it. Now, the very first thing you'll notice with any new Elementary OS release, or really any release of pretty much any new operating system, is the new wallpaper. In my opinion, Elementary OS has some very elegant wallpapers. And the second thing you'll notice is that the dock got a redesign. But if you look more closely at the desktop, we've also got a new quick settings menu. Now it has a little bit more functionality added to it. And actually, if we either log out or lock the screen. Elementary OS 8 also introduces some blurred elements. So on the lock screen and the logged screen, the background is actually blurred. So that's a nice modern touch. And the settings app also got a redesign. In particular, for some settings, you've got this two column design where you got, like for example, in applications, where you've got your different apps on the left, and then if you click on one, then you got permissions for each on the right. And speaking of, Elementary OS 8 now introduces app permissions, so you have a lot more granular control over what apps can and can't do, similar to what Mac OS has. Elementary OS 8 also introduces a new way to check for and install system updates on older versions you get your system updates and your app updates through the App Center. In Elementary OS 8, 8 you could find this in System Settings under System and Operating System. And actually, I should probably mention that Elementary OS 8 is based on Ubuntu 24.04. Now, I personally prefer to have all my updates, both system updates and app updates, done in one place just to streamline maintaining the system, but some people might prefer to have them be separate. And speaking of App Center, the App Center now has native support for FlatHub out of the box, which in case you're unfamiliar, FlatHub is like the main repository for Flatpaks. And this is offered in addition to the curated apps that Elementary OS offers through the App Center. This makes Elementary OS a fully Flatpak system, which is nice for security because with Flatpaks, every single application runs in its own sandbox. And having all applications confined to a sandbox allows for more granular control with app permissions which, as I said, Elementary OS just introduced. And also, the Videos app got a redesign, which, if I open a video file, you can actually see the redesigned video player here and all the options on the bottom. And by that way, the that video is from the example content package in Ubuntu. Now, moving on, Elementary OS now has a new fonts app, which if we give it a second to load in, it basically shows all the fonts in the system, similar to the fonts app on Ubuntu. As for under the hood changes, just Elementary OS now offers a Wayland session, dubbed the Secure Session, which in case you're familiar, Wayland is a new display manager for Linux distributions, which has the aim to eventually replace the aging x.org display server. Among the improvements with Wayland is that, one, it is smoother with rendering desktop animations, and it also has better support for gestures, which is particularly important in for touchpad users, and also Pipewire is now the default sound server, replacing Pulse Audio, which had been the sound server on most Linux distributions for a long time. So 
that's a pretty welcome change by audio enthusiasts who've complained about you know, some quirks with Pulse Audio. So using Pipewire should solve these issues. Overall, I appreciate the design changes and the new features introduced by the Elementary OS team in Elementary OS 8, especially the native support for Flathub, which will make it a lot easier for new users to find and install even more apps, especially some more popular ones. Overall, it's a pretty solid release. Now, there's no way to do an in-place upgrade from Elementary OS 7 or earlier versions of Elementary OS to Elementary OS 8. So if you want to upgrade to Elementary OS 8, you've got to do a clean install. But anyway, that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.